Algebra 2 1.6 writing equations for word problems. So I know I've talked in the past about word problems, but this is the first time we're going to do it for this playlist. So to solve word problems, we want to make sure we understand the problem and what we're trying to find, figure out what information is given to us. We want to make a plan and figure out what strategies we can use to solve it. Then when we find the answer, we check it. We want to make sure our answer makes sense and did we label it? If it needed to be labeled, did we put feet, centimeters, meters, ounces, whatever, okay? So a word problem may be split into smaller steps so it's easier to solve. We can break it up. We can assign variables to the unknown amounts that make sense. We can use T for time, V for volume, D for distance, or even D for dogs if that's what it needs. We can use clue words in the problem and that will help us figure out what we need to do. If you see 16 more than twice a number is 26, well, 16 more tells us we're going to add 16. Twice a number tells us it's going to be 2n. Is means the equal sign, and 26 is going to be the solution. So what it equals. And as we learned in the last video, we can use the addition property of equality to help us isolate the n. And we can take 16 away from each side, create a zero pair here, take 16 away from the 26, and we end up with 2n equals 10. We can use the multiplication property of equality and multiply each side by the reciprocal of this 2. And we get a 2 over 2. And when we simplify it, we find out that n is 5. So the number that it's twice of is 5. If you see 12 is half of 3 times a number, well, 12 equals half times 3n. We can use the multiplication property of equality to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of a half. And we can start isolating this 3n and the n. We can do it again and multiply each side by the reciprocal of the 3. And we find out that n equals 8. So just use the words as clues to how to write the equation. We have a traffic light that stays yellow for one second more than five one hundredths times the speed limit. How long will a light stay yellow on a street that has a 30 mile an hour speed limit? So we think what it wants is how long will it stay yellow? We're going to let y equal the yellow and s equal the speed. We're going to write an equation that fits this. So the yellow is going to equal 1 more, 1 plus 0 0.05 times speed, s. See that? And if it's 30 miles an hour for the speed, we need to multiply 30 times the 0 0.05 and we get 1.5. We add that to the 1 more and we know the yellow light will be 2.5 seconds long on a 30 mile an hour street. See? Now, I hope you have your thinking caps on. In 2016, Mo Farah of Great Britain ran the 10,000 meter run and his world record was 27 minutes, 5.17 seconds. Now, because this is written with this colon right here, that's 27 minutes, 5 seconds or 5.17 seconds. Now, 5 seconds is 1 12th of a minute. So if we wanted to write this as a decimal, 1 12th is approximately 0 0.0833333, so I put the bar over the 3. So as a decimal, 1 12th is 0 0.083 approximately. Okay, that's why I have an approximate symbol. So we're going to use 27.083 minutes. All right, so it changed from this 05.17 to 0 0.083, okay? Because we're writing it as a decimal, not as a time, all right? So since 1950, the world record for the men's 10,000 meter run is getting lower. It's been decreasing steadily. And the record is about 27.083 minutes minus 0 0.05 times the number of years since 1950. If runners continue to run faster and the record keeps decreasing in time, what can we predict it will be in the year 2020? So we think it's gone down 0 0.05 for each year since, since 1950. 
So we need to write an equation. The record is approximately 27.83 minutes minus 0 0.05 times the year 2020 minus 1950, okay, because that was the original one. Well, 2020 minus 1950 is 70 years. So we need to multiply this 70 years by the 0 0.05 per year. 70 times 0 0.05 is 3.50 or 3.5. So our equation is R is approximately 27.083 minus this 0 0.05 times the 70 minus that 3.50 or 3.5. 27.083 minutes minus 3.5 is 23.583. So we can say it's approximately 23.58 minutes. Now, 0.58 of a minute is not 58 minutes or 58 seconds. 50 is about half, isn't it? This is about 23 minutes and 35 seconds. 0.58 of a minute is about 35 seconds, all right? So I know this might seem really confusing, but if you think about what 1 12th is as 5 seconds, all right, that's how we got this 0.083, because 5 seconds is 1 12th of a minute, all right? Okay, let's try this one. We've got a fruit juice mixture that contained a half an ounce of mango. And the company came out with a newer version of the juice that contains 5 eighths ounce of mango. So now it's got more, right? Because 5 eighths is more than a half. A half is 4 eighths. That would be equivalent. So now it's got 5 eighths ounce of mango. What percent of the mango of the original juice does the new juice contain? So what they're asking is, what percent of the original amount of mango does the new juice have? So we've got to figure out what percent this is of this. What percent of a half ounce is 5 eighths ounce? We need to write an equation. So we're going to let n equal the new mango percentage. We're going to do n times 1 one hundredth times that half ounce. This is going to change the percent to times 1 one hundredth, okay? 1 one hundredth times 1 half is 1 over 200. So now we have 1 over 200 n from doing this part of the equation. All right? And that's going to equal the 5 a's. Now we can use that multiplication property of equality to isolate n that we learned in the last video. So the reciprocal of 1 two hundredth is 200 over 1. We multiply both sides by 200 over 1. We get 200 over 200 n. That makes a 1, doesn't it? because the numerator and denominator are the same. And on this side, we get 1,000 over 8. Well, 1,000 divided by 8, because that's a little division problem, isn't it, comes out to 125. So we know that 1n is equal to 125. So 5 eighths ounce is 125% of a half ounce. See that? This one had a half ounce of mango. This one had 5 eighths ounce of mango. The 5 eighths ounce is 125% of the mango that was in this one, all right? Now, if you're really confused about changing the fractions and percents and you want a quick review, there's a link to my Algebra 1 video 3.10a that talks about converting fractions to decimals to percents, okay? Our next video is 1.7, and we're going to go over exponential notation, and if you want any of the links to the previous videos we've done for chapter one, they're all in this description. You can just go in the description and click on them, all right? So be very careful when you're writing your equations for your word problems, and I also will put in a link to uh, my word problem playlist for algebra, and that might help you, okay? Because it talks about how to write equations in that playlist also, all right? See you next video. Bye.